Hey guys, I am the Tattoo Rep here and I just have my channel back. So I want to give away one Arcana for you. ...where it displaces movement and you can't dispel that with a Baden shield. Now so far, I don't know, never mind, that goes... We'll be ferried out probably in the next little bit here. This is... Uh, but yeah. This is so pullback. smart from 3-3. Three, three. Because he was so low, he couldn't hold the weight. Oh my god! Oh. That gets a solo kill! Nine. Dude! Alright, that's on you for the, the missed one. Actually comes in for a little bit of contention now. On to Thompson with the creep wave coming in. Can they go on him again? A chance, a hope? An opportunity here for the kill as the right clicks come out. Ah, he got the shield crash. 12% incoming damage. Fought it down low! Oh, and Thompson gets away! Unbelievable! On to Soxa. Just trading out these hits and trying to build up stuff. Not that much mana left, but oh, Skitter, he has to be careful. A Fodic shield, but these double ion shells, they find that finish. Can they get a second one? No. Soxa able to make the second kill happen and Fodic now trying to back out of here. Has another Aphotic shield in a sec. Okay, he's rotated up top. I don't think he feels like he can really pressure bottom lane at all this game. Oh, the arrow. arrow! Yo, the king comes in, takes down Seb. And the, the Winter's Curse is very short when no units are beside you, so they don't manage to land the arrow. I would say late game, I don't know, Dark Seer is sort of a beast, like, and they, they caught nine here. Do they have Chasing enough to kill? Down. The Ion Shell slow and steady burn down. They thought that nine was safe, so they canceled the TP, but this Ion Shell slowly whittling him down as they try and stay on top. But the turnaround, Aphotic Shield with the arrow, 3-3 three, three died at the same time, but they're able to chase down and kill Soxa. And Skitter's here, he's now chasing the top zone. Nowhere else to go. Skitter has another jump in three. The right click's coming through. One more punch. And Topsy gets the bounty rune before he ends up falling. Just to take the enemy ancients away. He's gonna drop a ward on the high ground, drop a sentry, and like just keep denying this ancients from the enemy TA. Skitter, he's getting out on top. Does have enraged though. They drop down that wall looking to jump up to the high ground. Seb has the vacuum for afterwards. Skitter realizes can't go for that play. So he's gonna back out of there. Thompson doing a little roly poly action as Fada tries to escape, but the winner's curse afterwards. They have arrow. connect now onto Nyx Assassin, taking a ton of damage. Arrow afterwards connects onto Seb. Do they have enough to bring down the rest of them? The splinter blast, Seb down low. Seb going to fall and snaking, living through this. Everybody's so low, they take down Fada in the end. Now looking for more. Static Storm is down, but the right click's coming from Skitter. They pull him back in. Snaking falls too. Now no tail turned upon. So far it's a three for two, but it's gonna become four as Tundra. Cool, because he wants to keep scaling with the battle free, but he doesn't want to be a useless, you know, piece of crap if you go for the max W build of battle free. Oh, oh they go God, Skitter. Skitter. Overextension. Does he live through it though? Oh, the search forward. Skitter's in trouble. Skitter needs to heal. It's not gonna come in time though. Great play coming okay, in, but will they be able to punish? Yes, they take down Seb. Now turning on to Soxa. Looking for a couple more right clicks. Nine hiding out to the trees and on a killing spree. So they lose them as, as OG are all heading down bottom. Uh, there is still the Ravage available. Scouts out no tail there, but the rest of the team moving into position and wow, they just dropped literally everything. Curse. Hold embrace though, and the winner's curse to try and turn it. Static Storm's about to wear off. Do they have the Ravage in time? They do! Connects on to three. Hobson able to get that ulti off. They have the back wall and the connect onto Fada as well as snaking. Both drop, but up on the high ground. It's nine hitting away at these heroes. Has to jump away for the moment though. Miss up hill, trying to run, but it's not gonna happen. Ursus shows up though, the big bad mad bear, trying to find anything else here. Seb, no more vacuum. Thompson goes in a little bit aggressively, but with the iron shell, it might be enough. Fada has no more shield, a triple kill for Sumail and showing the power of this and early game aggression. Look at this ancient sack. This is for OG now. They won the team fight in the air. They brought everyone. Tundra, they brought all their heroes, but they weren't ready. That heroes TPN, Nine didn't have his... They're trying to take down the vision, trying to take down the traps. Roche is so low, and it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get it in time. So Tundra have to give up that first Aegis. And o Swing of events in the last two minutes. OG just winning a team fight, stealing an enemy ancient sack, and now pick up the DD in order to get Roshan. And I want to say a little bit of level headedness, I think, coming out from Tundra. They recognize we don't have Ravage. We're like 50 gold off our Witch's Blade. Oh, Snaking is picked off here. Ooh, big blow up there. Bump. 
And that is gonna, at least for the moment for OG, attempt to turn into a mid tier one tower. Nine, able to sidestep, but pulled back in afterwards in some trouble, they got him. The wall is down and he is dead. No tail, able to live through it. The mech comes out from Seb, keeping alive. No tail. And now giving the tip over to Fada, who's gonna get caught fully encapsulated here in pain as OG find themselves yet another two big kills. Tier one tower coming. Oh, top lane. Sax is just diving onto sneaking. Oh, doing a little runaway there. Not enough mana to TP from the king. Oh, sneaking. Runs into oh. Thompson though. <laughs> just gonna dodge away from it. But with no more leap charges, that should be the end here of Snake King. He eventually gets brought down. So it's going to be an issue for Tundra, but we've seen them come back from this before. We haven't seen their answer to this TA though. And, oh, are they really gonna try and fight this right now? Moonlight Shadow, Soxa walking into this. They get that vision. Skitter looking for the jump now onto Sumail. Aegis still a minute left on it as they go into all of them. Tries to find this kill here on a no-tail, gonna get glimpsed, but he's not going back to the bottom side of the map. He's staying here. Do they realize it? Thompson, going to get that roll off. Good static storm laid down, separating the rest of them. Able to pull back in here if they want to. Seb looking for that opening, only two points up in vacuum. Catches onto Fada, but nothing else afterwards. And nine, he's the real target that they're trying to go on. Winner's curse just to try and escape, but it's not gonna happen. OG, they find the heroes that they need to, and now going into the tier three towers, they're looking high ground. No, it's looking good for them. They even had the Abaddon illusion from the wall to get the Curse of Avernus onto the tower. So just doing a little bit more damage here. And that oh. fight, there was no Ravage. Three things up the Another blink. Uh, sorry, the, the BKB on, Tund uh, on Skitter. Combined with the blink oh. on Tidehunter, they want to go now. They see Seb. This could be huge. Good vision. Arrow, that reveals their positioning. Looking for a jump, they got him. Ravage comes out, oh, with the psionic projection. TA gets out of there. They're gonna find Seb, big back wall back. And actually, they, they gotta be careful. Tundra need to back out. They got nothing. Uh... Skitter, BKB out, will kill No-Tail, but that is a pure victory at best. Body blocks now coming in from the illusions. All right, they have Winter's Curse. You gotta be careful about this one. With all these illusions, they can rip them apart. Seb gets turned on now. Gets hit with that Winter's Curse, looking for the Splinter Blast dead, tops it. Trying to make a little bit of a comeback here, but look at Sumail, he jumps in and blows up the Ursa. He didn't stand a chance, and now Nine jumped on afterwards, three dead for the price of two. And with that, OG take a more commanding lead. That was the ticket round, Roche. Gonna get even more of a net worth lead now. And the surge forward, they're, they're looking for a catch for a kill. Snake King pulled back in. Oh, Disruptor, you can't leap out of that one. They find the King, bring him down. Nine has Aghanims. He's gonna kill this wave, TP back, and sell his bottle for it. So a little bit of timing for Tundra. Maybe a glimmer of hope, but it's looking very scary for them right now. They glyph the wave so he can't get the... He can't get it. All right, now he's gonna get it as he comes on back home. And, oh my god, Sumail just hits so hard. The Aghanims is done. Snake King gets caught. He gets killed. Oh, every timing just gets interrupted. These misplays from Tundra. It's really important. Right now, OG has more heroes that shove lanes already in the Dark Sand TA. If they take these racks, oh, oh. fight. Jumps back in, finds him. Muted, silence, dead. They take him down. Godlike Sumail now trying to pull back in Fada. They've got control over Skitter, who's just going to jump back and away. But that is BKB down from Sumail, but no more buyback on this Wyvern. And Fada trying to get out of there. The ulti's going to be popped, but they're going to run him down. The stuns, the kills. It's all feeling like it's coming up OG here in this game number five. As they walk up high ground again, take this second set of racks. They have buyback on the ABBA, but no buyback on the Wyvern. And they can't fight without the Wyvern. It's so much of their damage. No, they absolutely can't. And Sumail there just was a psionic projection. Teleporting behind the Wyvern, coming from this unexpected angle. They chat, they combo that with No-Tail's Clutch Zag Storm, and they just burst him down. Ooh. They do have a ward here, though. This is the fight Tundra are looking for. They need, have the ah, vision. Is this the person you want to go on? They jump for No-Tail, but he gets the four step away. He's living. Now he got it in an awkward position. Vacuum back, catches. Skinner are going to pop that in range, but all of the right clicks coming in from Sumail after the fact with that Hurricane Pike. He tries to get out of there. Buyback comes from Disruptor. They didn't use Ravage. Tundra holding on. 
who have come up with answers for this stuff. And I mean, you, you look at him when he has that iron shell on, it's what now up to 3,200 HP Tops on the TA in. and Thompson ready to jump. They got the static projection afterwards, catches the Ursa. Where's the help? Pulled and braces out. Now afterwards, the winner's curse only catching onto one and they turn onto Skitter and rage out, trying to run away. He hasn't been able to do anything on this Ursa. The chase down comes to Mail, finds that kill. That is what they needed. They bring down one by nine, but the rundown continues. There's no buyback on this Ursa. Oh, gee, they're so close they can taste it. They want to look for this finish here as they move up and try and take down this tier three tower. The big Ravage comes out, but the roll up from Thompson, able to live through it. The turn back, he wall jump in from Thompson, finding that kill yet again. They're going to buy back now onto Snake King. Thompson keeps on running in. The right clicks. 3-3, three, three, no Ravage left, nowhere left to go, really. They're trying to buy time for this Ursa to come back in, and there is no more Aegis. As they chase down, but Thompson jumps in, still living through it, trying to get all of that regen back. Tundra, they're holding... It might be there if you have all your heroes hitting, but it, a lot of it is mitigated by the fact that Noto, he went for this 4 stuff. You have Surge, and they're catching 3-3 three, three here. No Blink Dagger. Chasing down. Uses the headband, tries to get away, but the glimpse pulls him back in. Thompson goes the whole length of that peninsula, trying to get the roll up as they will run down and kill 3-3, three, three, finding themselves another. Fada goes down to boot. They have buyback on the Tidehunter, but you see no mercy at all as they're ready to run up high ground and try and take this down. Skitter looking for an opening now. Get the meld out. Nine, Winner's Curse, hoping to do something. The buyback comes from the Tidehunter. Arrow afterwards, but the BKB didn't get it out in time. Skitter BKB runs forward, tries to bring down this Nyx Assassin. It is not going to happen. Jump forward. There's the stun that they need. They take down Skitter. He buys back now. They keep on chasing it on this one. Thompson trying to find nine. He gets him. It's a godlike spree. They can't get anything. As one by one, all of Tundra falls, OG doesn't even die, and GG is called. OG are going back to TI to defend their title.